Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video and so I hope that you're all doing really wonderful this morning and so we will be taking a look at what is going on for the Atlantic Basin in terms of that tropical wave uh, and whether development is still possible. We'll be taking a look at that and uh, current conditions out there as well as uh, Tropical Storm Calvin over in the Eastern Pacific and so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Alright, so we're starting out with the Pacific and there we have Calvin not looking as though it's anything too much on the infrared satellite, but it is likely bringing uh, some tropical storm force winds to the big island of Hawaii. So it is likely that impacts are being felt right now because the system is making its way by. As we go on to the cone forecast, there we have that tropical storm force wind field uh, that is actually covering parts of the big island, mostly the southern portion of it so it's likely that some tropical storm force winds are being felt those rough seas as well coupled with some rainfall in some areas but it will continue westward uh, conditions should gradually improve as the cyclone continues uh, to make its way from the archipelago so as we're going to be heading into the end of this week it should uh, become a post tropical cyclone not being a problem for anyone and so let's go over into the uh, Atlantic Basin now and here we can see Dawn up there tropical storm Dawn and so uh, it is going to be out there for a while not a threat to land as we head to the main development region here we see some thunderstorm activity now all this is in association with that new wave that has emerged off the coast of Africa and so the possibility still exists for this to develop into something and a couple days ago the GFS was being very bullish about something developing even showing a major hurricane at one point but we will be looking at the latest very shortly uh, let's zoom into some other areas here for northern South America we can see that there is a bit of activity across some of these territories uh, mostly a lot of that cloud cover coupled with a bit of rainfall for some spots uh, and as we move further up into the vicinity of the Caribbean the ABC islands are in the clear right now maybe with some passing clouds and brief showers here here and there nothing crazy uh, Trinidad Tobago similar story and we can even notice uh, quite a bit of activity over in some sections of the Eastern Caribbean and so we even see some thunderstorms south of Puerto Rico but for most areas it is likely just overcast this morning maybe with some brief showers nothing too crazy similar story across most of the Greater Antilles heading to the Bahamas the Turks and Caicos Islands are in the clear and over into Central America some thunderstorms across some spots some isolated thunderstorms nothing too crazy but as we head to this afternoon there is likely going to be uh, quite a bit of rainfall and thunderstorm activity for some areas. All right, so now we're going on to the rainfall total maps here and we are starting out with GFS. So as it becomes more colorful, as you see more of those shades of yellows, oranges, reds, that is when we're talking about more rainfall activity expected. And so uh, we're seeing those colors for parts of the Southeastern Caribbean, going to Colombia, Venezuela, spots in Guyana. Also, as we head over into some areas in Central America, uh, Cuba, South Florida, as well as the Northwestern Bahamas and some spots in the Dominican Republic. So those are the areas likely to receive some substantial rainfall through today. So in terms of the Southeast Caribbean, there is that tropical wave that is approaching uh, that is helping to uh, make things more unstable out there and resulting in more of that shower and thunderstorm activity. So we see areas going from St. Vincent southward to Grenada as well as for Trinidad and Tobago expected to receive quite a bit of rainfall. But as we head further north, things get drier. Things are expected to be sunnier uh, for the rest of of the uh, island chain especially as we head to the leeward islands uh, it should also be a pretty sunny day for puerto rico the virgin islands it should be a sunny day as well it should be a mostly sunny day as well as we go to some spots in hispaniola most of jamaica uh, there's going to be that at thunderstorm possibility especially as we head to this afternoon for some spots especially eastern parishes it should be pretty dry down in the abc islands as well but as we go on to euro euro is in agreement with this uh, showing that chance of rainfall for some 
thousand spots in Jamaica, especially heading over into the eastern side of the island, and is expecting more rainfall than GFS over in parts of the southeastern Caribbean. So, in the case of very heavy rainfall, guys, there is going to be that chance of flooding. So please ensure that you take all necessary precautions where required. And so now let's go ahead and talk about the potential of that wave of Africa developing. So we will be looking at what the GFS and Euro runs are showing, uh, after which we'll be taking a look at the ensemble members and then the uh, conditions out there in terms of the sea surface temperatures and the Saharan earlier maps. So we're starting out with the Euro run and we're looking for those black lines. They're called isobars and they join areas of equal pressure. They're the ones we're looking for here. So when we see them in a circular manner uh, with that L that is representing a low pressure system, for example, there we have Tropical Storm Dawn up there. So that is what we're seeing uh, with Dawn and that is what we're looking for should we actually see development of that wave. And these Colors, these greens, yellows, they indicate the precipitation. Right there, we have the forecast time. So, as we progress into the latter part of this week, there we have that tropical wave continuing. We see all that moisture, all that activity in association with it. But notice that we're not seeing it getting organized. And eventually, as it makes its way closer to the Caribbean, we don't see much happen for it. It makes its way over the Lesser Antilles and continues across the basin, likely uh, bringing a lot of rainfall to some areas. So that that is what the euro model is expecting. Euro is not expecting development and I think that the main inhibiting factor out there is that dry air. Uh, again, we'll be going on to that map very shortly. Going on to what GFS has to show. So as I said earlier in the video, GFS was being very bullish about uh, something actually developing, even showing a major hurricane at one point. But take a look at this, a complete contrast. So as we head to the uh, end of this week, going to the start of the new week, there we see that nothing is expected by GFS anymore, at least for this run here. The model is no longer expecting that we will be seeing development. So it's likely just going to continue as a tropical wave and maybe bring a lot of heavy rainfall to some areas. And even in the event of heavy rainfall, that can trigger flooding as well. So even though we might not be talking about a tropical storm here or, or a tropical depression, it could still bring enough rainfall to uh, result in such conditions. Uh, those gusty winds at times, a lot of heavy rainfall. So let's see what's going to be happening. Let's see how it is going to survive out there. Going on to the ensemble members here. So each of these tracks are different members and we're looking at the Euro first. So this goes out to the next 10 days, which is the 29th of uh, the month next Saturday. So we're seeing that there are still a good amount of ensemble members that are expecting something to become of this. And we see that the bulk of them take it into the Caribbean some of which are showing some strengthening. So this is very interesting here. The ensemble members are not really backing off. And we even see a new set of them out there indicating that maybe another wave will try to get itself together as well. And this will be the trend because we're heading to the peak of the hurricane season when things are typically a lot more conducive out there for development. So uh, this isn't surprising to see. But going on to the GFS ensemble members, they have been backing off as we head out to the next 10 days. Not expecting much at all. Just a couple of members are uh, expecting that we could see some intensification and the tracks are all over the place here. So GFS and Salva members not expecting much. The model run not expecting much either. So uh, based on this here uh, that we are seeing this new trend with something crazy no longer being expected by GFS and Euro keeping it weak even though the ensemble members are showing that it could develop, uh, it is likely that there won't actually be anything crazy out there that seems unlikely right now but the chance of development i would say is still there but we also have to take into consideration the fact that uh well as of when i'm making this video as of the 2 a.m update the national hurricane center has not highlighted an area out there the wave has not been highlighted for possible development during the next seven days so uh, maybe it will eventually be highlighted if that chance uh, is going to be there even if it is a minimal chance of development so let's see only time will tell but in terms of that Saharan earlier it will be the wave's greatest enemy they're gonna put up a fight and uh, let's see if the wave will manage to sustain enough activity uh, to bring that increased rainfall or even try to develop into a tropical cyclone out there but uh, again all of that dry air is just so dominant right now and 
it is going to make things pretty hostile for this tropical wave here. However, these sea surface temperatures are very warm, especially as we look to the Caribbean, the Gulf uh, of the southeast coast of the U.S. Uh, things get pretty warm out there. So uh, the sea surface temperatures are well on their way. And with other conditions being conducive, that is the perfect breeding ground for tropical cyclones and even for rapid intensification as well. However, my channel is here to keep you guys updated on all that is happening so that you are never caught off guard. And so that is what I wanted to share with you in this update. And I hope that you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond once I can. And remember to always be with the wise.